Alarmingly, nearly 94 million U.S. adults aged 20 or older have borderline high cholesterol. Cholesterol is essential for constructing healthy cells, but excessive levels can lead to severe health risks like heart attacks or strokes. Our dietary choices significantly impact cholesterol levels, and some foods can be particularly dangerous. In today's video, we'll explore 10 foods high in cholesterol that can harm your health. Always consult a healthcare professional before making dietary changes. 1. Red meat. If you enjoy eating red meat, you might be at risk for higher cholesterol levels. Red meat, especially when eaten in large amounts, can raise cholesterol levels because it is high in saturated fats. These fats are broken down in the stomach and intestines, and since they are not water-soluble, lipoprotein molecules transport them through the bloodstream to the liver. The liver then converts these fats into cholesterol. Elevated levels of bad cholesterol, LDL, can accumulate in the artery walls, forming plaque. This hard, thick deposit can narrow the arteries, increasing the likelihood of cardiovascular problems such as heart attacks and strokes. A thorough study involving about 20,000 people closely investigated the effects of red meat consumption on dyslipidemia. 2. Butter butter is rich in saturated fats, which are known to influence the body's cholesterol levels. Unlike unsaturated fats found in plant-based oils, saturated fats are more likely to raise blood cholesterol levels. When you consume butter, these fats are digested and absorbed into your bloodstream reaching the liver where they significantly influence cholesterol production. The liver uses these fats to produce more low-density lipoprotein, LDL cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol. High levels of LDL cholesterol in the blood can lead to health issues. In a study involving 47 healthy individuals, the effects of substituting part of their habitual diet with butter or refined olive oil were analyzed. The study, which included a 14-day run-in period of habitual diet, found that butter intake significantly increased total and LDL cholesterol levels more than olive oil. 3. Fried foods If you love fried foods, you might need to check your cholesterol levels soon. High temperatures used in frying can cause the oxidation of fats, leading to the formation of harmful compounds that negatively impact cholesterol levels and heart health. This oxidation process alters the chemical structure of the fats, and create substances like aldehydes and free radicals, which contribute to inflammation and oxidative stress. Additionally, when foods are fried, they tend to absorb these altered fats, increasing the overall intake of unhealthy saturated and trans fats. This absorption exacerbates the intake of fats that are detrimental to health. A large prospective study of about 15,000 participants examined the relationship between fried food intake and heart failure risk. 4. Processed meats. Not only red meat, but also processed meats such as sausages, bacon, and deli meats contribute to increased cholesterol levels due to their high content of saturated fats, and in some cases, trans fats. The liver processes these fats, increasing the production of LDL cholesterol. Additionally, processed meats often contain high levels of dietary cholesterol, further contributing to raised blood cholesterol levels. The combination of high saturated and trans fats, along with dietary cholesterol, makes processed meats particularly impactful on cholesterol levels and cardiovascular health. Regular consumption of processed meats may significantly contribute to higher cholesterol levels and associated health risks. A review of studies showed that processed meats, which include added sodium and preservatives, have a 42% higher risk of coronary heart disease per 50 grams consumed compared to unprocessed meats. The high sodium content in processed meats, about four times higher than in unprocessed meats, accounts for much of this risk difference. 5. Whole Fat Dairy Products Dairy products have always been scrutinized due to their potential contribution to increasing cholesterol levels. Whole fat dairy products contain a high amount of saturated fat, these fats are absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to the liver, where they are used to produce additional cholesterol. Many whole-fat dairy products also contain dietary cholesterol, further adding to the body's cholesterol levels. The combination of saturated fats and dietary cholesterol in whole-fat dairy products makes them significant contributors to increased cholesterol levels, particularly when consumed in large quantities. However, individual responses to dietary cholesterol vary. 
with some people being more sensitive than others. For example, in a study on men and women with metabolic syndrome, a diet rich in full-fat dairy. Six, egg yolks. Egg yolks are known to potentially increase cholesterol levels due to their high content of dietary cholesterol. However, the extent to which dietary cholesterol from egg yolks raises blood cholesterol levels may vary significantly among individuals. For some, the impact is minimal, while for others, particularly those more sensitive to dietary cholesterol, egg yolks may cause a noticeable increase in LDL cholesterol. Moreover, dietary cholesterol increases postprandial lipemia and potentiates the adverse effects of dietary saturated fat. Therefore, dietary cholesterol intake should be limited to less than 200 milliliters per day. A single large egg yolk contains approximately 275 milliliters of cholesterol. Among participants who developed diabetes during observation, consumption of one egg a day doubled their cardiovascular risk compared to less than one egg a week. 7. Shellfish Similar to egg yolks, shellfish such as shrimp, lobster, and crab are known to increase cholesterol levels due to their relatively high content of dietary cholesterol. For those genetically predisposed to high cholesterol, eating shellfish may lead to an increase in blood cholesterol levels. Elevated LDL cholesterol is a concern because it increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. However, it is important to consider that shellfish also contain beneficial nutrients and are generally low in saturated fat, a key factor in cholesterol levels. Therefore, the impact of shellfish on cholesterol levels may depend on the overall dietary pattern, the quantity consumed, and individual health factors. A study investigating the impact of non-cholesterol marine sterols found in shellfish like oysters and clams on cholesterol absorption showed no significant difference in total plasma cholesterol. However, the ratio of HDL2 to HDL3 cholesterol was higher after the oyster and clam diet, suggesting that the marine sterols in shellfish might reduce cholesterol absorption, offering potential dietary benefits. Thus, eating shellfish in moderation is often recommended especially for individuals concerned about their cholesterol levels. 8. Fast food Many fast food items are prepared with ingredients high in saturated and trans fats, such as deep-fried items, processed meats, and full-fat dairy products. Fast food meals tend to be high in calories, leading to weight gain and obesity, which are risk factors for high cholesterol. Many fast foods are also high in sodium and sugar, contributing to hypertension and inflammation exacerbating cardiovascular health issues related to high cholesterol. Fast food often lacks essential nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and minerals. A diet low in fiber is particularly concerning for cholesterol management, as soluble fiber helps reduce cholesterol absorption in the bloodstream. A study of 200 university students found that about three-quarters regularly ate shawarma, a type of Mediterranean fast food, at least once a week. About 44% of these students had an increased body mass index, BMI, and approximately 37% had elevated serum cholesterol levels. 9. Margarine margarine may impact cholesterol levels, and this effect largely depends on the type of fat used in its production. Traditionally, many types of margarine were made using partially hydrogenated oils, which are high in trans fats. Trans fats are known to increase bad cholesterol and decrease good cholesterol negatively affecting heart health. They contribute to inflammation, a risk factor for heart disease, and may damage the lining of blood vessels, known as endothelial dysfunction. This damage makes it easier for plaques to form and worsen atherosclerosis. Studies have found that dietary trans fatty acids at sufficiently high levels can increase LDL cholesterol and decrease HDL cholesterol. These effects are measurable when trans fats make up at least 4% of a person's energy intake, which raises LDL cholesterol, and 5 to 6% of a person's energy intake, which lowers HDL cholesterol, compared to diets low in trans fats. 10. Partially hydrogenated oils. Partial hydrogenation reduces the levels of polyunsaturated oils and creates trans fats, which promote heart disease. Oils like palm and soybean oil may increase cholesterol levels primarily because of their high saturated fat content. Several studies have found that LDL cholesterol concentrations in those consuming partially hydrogenated soybean and palm oils were significantly higher than in those consuming regular soybean oil, by 12% and 14% respectively. 
While vegetable oils are not as high in saturated fats as some animal fats, they still contain significant amounts contributing to increased cholesterol levels when consumed in large quantities or as a major part of one's diet. 